started. This shipping order I just picked up from the airport. I mean, I'm sorry. Yo yo loaches. We got a rope fish. Get pretty long. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to look it up, but I think it's definitely over two feet. So get pretty cool. Got a large, I think it's called the top bapo pleco. Alright guys, might get a little confusing for me because I've got a few kinds of plecos. So I might not have the exact name for the pleco. Um, but yeah, it's uh, going on this box. Like a larger size, like oh, and I'll get footage when they're in the tank, um, colored up and figured out and sorted by name. I'm sure, that was the L52 butterfly pleco. Next up, I think this is a high fan blue phantom or either green phantom. Like, like I said, I'll, I'll figure out which ones. They're not labeled, which they were, but yeah. This one is a big spot pleco. Might also be called the peppermint pleco. Um, oh, 
that was the Orinoco Big Spot Pleco. Exactly sure, but this plug goes up next. It I think this is the new Ranger Pleco. Uh, got about four or five different kinds of Plecos. They're not labeled, and I'm just learning all my Pleco numbers, so I apologize for that. But I think that's what this one is: is the new Ranger Pleco. I think this is another butterfly pleco, large size. Um, I think it's a L52, if I'm correct. I'll get better footage uh, after they're acclimated in the tanks. Possibly another one that's the L52, if I've got those correct. Four or five inch pleco. Red eye, red tail puffer. I think we've got three of these. Um, they're not pea puffers, so I think it, I think about 2.5 inches is max size. But they're red eye, red tail puffer. Kind of cool. Unique puffer. Up next is a Juvenile Black Widow Frontosa. And here's another one of those freshwater Red eye, red tail puffer. This one's got really good color. Looks like he's still pretty happy. That's another Black Widow Frontosa Juvenile. And here's the third red eye, red tail puffer. Up next is the gold African dwarf frogs. Uh, we're used to the grayish green ones, the, the darker ones at the big box stores, then we got the blonde ones um, last week, and this week we got the gold ones. I've never seen these before, kind of excited to see what they look like when they get in the tank here. Fun little frogs, uh, fully aquatic, so 
can be added to pretty much most community tanks. Wow, up next we got these giant bamboo shrimp. I've never seen bamboo shrimp this large. Uh, these are like almost pushing like four inches. Um, wow, I'm curious to see what kind of work they can do in a tank, but holy cow, those are very large. <laughs> Up next, we got some liar tail, red eye, red liar tail, sore tails. They're pretty cool. One of my favorite fish of all time is these sore tails. They remind me of miniature salmon. And I highly enjoy them. I have uh, been breeding 22 strains of these uh, for the last, oh, about 30 years now. So. Super enjoy my sword tails. These ones are great. Yeah, super red, red eye with the long fins, wire tail tails. Oh, nice and long. Very, very neat fish. So it looks like I mistaked one of the plecos for the wrong ones because I guess these are the new ranger plecos. Um, they came in as small, that's all they had. Cute little ones. I haven't done my research on them. They're called the new ranger pleco. Yeah, and even though I don't know my plecos, but this one, very easily recognizable. This is definitely a blue phantom pleco. Gorgeous, large size. Uh, it's the biggest one I've ever seen. Uh, just amazing color spotting on him. The lighting kind of sucks, but I'll have to show you when he uh, gets out of the bag, but he's absolutely stunning. Nice looking pleco. Up next is these dwarf grommy. Um, they are called a croaking grommy, and they, you can hear them croak uh, when they're spawning. It's kind of Unique fish. Uh, got a couple, uh, or I have one in the uh, one of our display tanks over here, and um, they they really really color up, like nice and brown, and they have blue eyes. Uh, you have to check them out. Up next is a gorgeous, unique angelfish. It is a green angelfish. Very rare. Uh, I haven't seen them anywhere else. It's called a green angelfish. They were out of stock, so I can only get one, but I'm definitely going to get more in. Um, show you guys the amazing color uh, when it comes out of the bag.
cool, wow. So, uh, these guys, it's called the half banded eel, also called the zigzag eel. Not sure how big they get, but I think they stay relatively small. Kind of unique, cool looking. And last but not least, this is a snakehead Guyin. Um, kind of unique. Never seen them anywhere else. This is the second one we've got. The first one went really fast, so I never got any footage of it. Um, this one's pretty much sold also. So I'm going to try to get more in. They're just kind of limited numbers. Um, it grow to be about six, seven plus inches. Uh, yeah, pretty cool fish. You have to come check it out. It's still here. Take it easy, guys. Appreciate you. See you on the next one. Oh, looks like we got one more. I totally forgot. Uh, this is a Red Chili Oscar Juvenile. He will definitely cover up. I mean, color up, I'm sorry. But he's definitely got a nice red solid body. I've never seen them before. Very unique. Um, it's called the Red Chili Oscar or Super Red Oscar. Uh, have to come check it out if he's still here. I'm going to try to get more uh, next week. Hopefully I can get the True Lemon Oscar in, which is solid yellow and not the ones that the Albino Lemon Oscar, which is definitely different than the one we want to get in next week. But this guy is pretty amazing. I'll have to definitely get more of these now that I see the nice red color. But all right, take care, guys. See you on the next one.